four pitches, he'll throw you the kitchen sink, fastball, curveball, slider, change. And uh, not a real hard throw. When he first came up, he pitches at any time. And he's a ground ball machine. It's like 50% ground balls this year so far. Tendencies. And he makes the necessary adjustment. Split, change, everything's going into the ground. And as you can see there, the pitch usage there. He utilizes all of his pitches in any count, as Gibby alluded to. A Tigers 3-1 win. Very different games between Friday and Saturday. The offense was slowed down by Bo Brisky. Kind of watching these years, so we'll go. On the ground into third base, Santiago Espinal made a couple of nice plays. Walk last night. Looking for his first hit of the series. First pitch is outside. I feel like Austin Meadows is starting. Seven in the series is not indicative of the swings he's had. His pop foul. Just like that. That ball there just a the 2 1. Tap to second. Tigers go quietly against Ross Strip. Sent to Cooperstown. Presented in a ceremony earlier today. First pitch swinging and a fly ball. Right center field. The Oscar Hernandez tracks it down the long out to start the second. All talks about winning. We have the numbers. He loves the numbers. He loves the accolades. He knows he's going to be a Hall of Famer. But when you talk to McGill, that over 60% came in wins. So he said, you're a winning player, Miggy. A winning player. Biggio retires Harold Castro, and there are two away. First class, for sure. Crowd. You could feel it, Chip. You could feel it. It's one of the greatest things about playing for the Tigers. I don't think money's in people come up and talk to him, and he realizes the scope of importance he's had to the history of this game beyond what you see, beyond what we tell him. I mean, it's incredible, the influence, to have a Miguel Cabrera for his for his first game as a big leaguer. And that Dimitri Young, I told Dimitri, I'm like, I, I got to meet Ken Griffey Jr. And we went to Seattle. He's funny. Got a chance yeah. to meet him. Hit the 500 home run. We had our own moment. Watching greatness. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I'm not afraid to say. I, I, two, two to buy it. Ooh, up high. Chopped foul. Tried to get in that kitchen. He didn't know he's six for seven. Walk. Sharply to short. Bichette was playing him deep. And throws him out. The Tigers go one, two, three in the second. Miguel Cabrera's day. It's a mingle. It always is. You always learn something with those men. I don't think there's one time I've ever left a conversation. Room. A lot of great moments. And great stories. I hey. think Leland has some of the best hey, baseball. Stories. Robbie Grossman leading off the Tigers third. I wouldn't want to put a, a clock, though, on Jim Leland. I just... Give him a talk up topic and let him go. Awesome. Grossman, Torkelson, and Barnhart for the Tigers here in the third against Ross Stripling. Three and two now to Robbie Grossman. The ball look a little bit up there. So fouled away. Not to be another pitcher showdown. He's a lot more down and through the baseball. Like that? Yes, sir. First knock of the day for the Tigers, and it comes to lead off the third. What do you mean by uphill compared to down, please? Well, what happens is so far against the Jays? The thing about swinging up and trying to put a launch. Torkelson fouls it away to make it one on one. And there's some guys that. You know, still believe in, in swinging up. But most guys try to get down and through the ball and try to catch the ball out in front. 
And so you're going to see the difference. I'm going to show you here later when we get a chance to. After this one two pitch to Torkelson. All right, Simo. Pizzio's turn in time to get Torkelson two away here in the third. Man, that's a really good swing there. Really good play there, Papicio. But guys, here's what we're talking about here. When you start one, hit this one out in front, and you just stay through the baseball. Again, you don't want to get stuck either on your backside. You want to hit against a firm front side. So you have to transfer your weight from the backside to the front side. This is the this is the money maker right here. If you got that, if you're way out here in front, and your hands or you're pulling off. You got the bats coming in and out of those pitches. On if I'm pulling off. You're I'm toast. giving up way too much plate on the outside part of the plate. Makes it difficult to hit, especially at this level. But guys have great command at the big leagues. Talked about letting it get deeper when you get two strikes. Okay, so you're letting it get deeper. So, and I want it straight to the ball. Boom. I just want to go here and hit it the other way. Took me a long time to learn it. But that's not first pitch. Here is the, the rain, but we, we were able to come back out here and get it done and... Uh, it's been great to be with the fans. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun out here. Tigers can do just that here in their half of the fourth. Victor Reyes, Jonathan Scope, and Austin Meadows. I did have the new guys in the most of all of our state, city of Detroit, and the Detroit Tigers. Definitely can feed off that as a player, right? don't you think? Oh, I, you definitely feed off of it. Reyes sends one to center, late jump by Springer, but he makes up for it. And you start back and you you can feel oh I better get going because it may go over my head. But he calmly recovered there. Pick up some grass to see what the wind's blowing. Yeah. I always check those. Maybe the wind was blowing out there. Now up here in right field. Yeah, not yeah, bad. But it's in our face. And look at the flags over in left field. Are going the other way. That's what can happen. That's why the grass is for down low. Like a like a carry for sure. Jonathan Scope strikes out. That's the second punch out for Ross Stripling today. Need to be in the hall quickly. Agreed. Should have been a while ago. Two yeah. away. I don't understand that double play duo for 20 years. Well, I talked to a writer one time who has a Hall of Fame vote, and I'll never forget what he said. Played for as long as he did. That makes no sense. There's a line drive into a four outfield configuration in the tight. He did never quit. Mm. So I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, this I'm telling you, that's got the right amount. You can understand what I'm saying, right? Oh, I understand. I love everything about that. It's grilled to perfection. Wide at first. This could be interesting. I mean, Low throw and he dropped it. Miguel Cabrera is aboard to start the fifth. About 500 degrees. <laughs> Woo. Cabrera gets a board to start the fifth, and Gibby's asking for you. Yeah, well, I just, my knife just melted. <laughs> Here's a tapper to Biggio. Bichette's turn in time. They double up Harold Castro, two away. Jim, what do you got? Oh, that's apple pie. That's no pasty. Yeah, I don't. You can eat that with your hands. No, it's too hot. I don't think I've met anybody that eats more sweets. Oh. I'm so sweet. <laughs> I would feel bad for an ice cream truck going down your your street. Or I saw one the other day. Good question. Ice cream man does come to mind. Three and one to Baez. The cider mills. Well, they're going to be good because Metro Detroit. they're getting all this rain. The apples are going to be good. Oh, right at the third baseman, Santiago Espinal. Second time. Now he faces Robbie Grossman, Spencer Torkelson, and Tucker Barnhart. You got to, we got to find a way to youngsters of all species. We like got to bring it, bring it. You know, I, we brought it here. Honkage? Yes. Uh, I, I can't say that I do. Yeah, baby. <laughs> sure. Not, that sounds like a squeaky wheel. Sounds like bad breaks. And a bad break for Robbie Grossman right there. Third strikeout of the day for Ross Stripling. 
Spencer Torkelson bounder at second today. Kill this inning. We're capable of getting him. Get him out of that stretch. A little different when you get him in that stretch, Simo. It's amazing. He's, he's done a good job of keeping these guys uh, honest and off, off balance. Ground Another ball ground into ball. the shift, and that's Kevin Biggio. Throwing out Torkelson. Your fans were healing you there, Simo. There's a lot of fans out here. Can't wait to take a picture with you. you can't do it all at once, right? No. Nope. Line drive. Lean you. There's one and one to Tucker. Barnhart flew out to left his first time on. Way out in front. Pretty cool moment the other night for Tucker. Yeah, it's Tatum. You're going to yeah. miss that someday. That's yeah, fun. Yeah. Tough to say goodbye to those days, isn't it? They're half rubber. Stripling retires the Tigers in order.